Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn in our Iron Teeth series. Now, uh, we have completed the lake and that is looking wonderful. There's a lot of water that we're storing here as well. And uh, for our next project, what I was thinking is um, I think we're going to return to one of the older projects that we tried before but unfortunately did not succeed in and that is to do with power in one of the previous videos i uh, talked about the three different options that we have for the for the iron teeth and that's the engine the power wheels and the water wheels and my conclusion was that for the droughts up until now i wanted to use the power wheels instead of um, engines and water wheels and to be honest yeah we've mixed it up a little bit so when it's a wet season we'll use the water wheels and when it's dry we'll use the power wheels but now i just want to try and use water wheels a little bit more and I've done a little bit of t testing, well not a little bit, actually quite a lot and then in my test map I created this setup here and it seemed to work out pretty well. Now I started thinking um, it's quite far away and that also means we have to use another district center and either move beavers every day which is quite annoying or create a distribution center and move resources to them which again uh, doable but not very very ideal so i looked around the map where could be a potential water wheel setup uh, area and i came to conclusion to try and use the same area over here so that is going to be the focus for i think one or two episodes we we should get it uh, get it done as long as we have a couple of things sorted first and one of them is uh housing oh sorry the beavers so let's do that straight away i'm gonna place down quite a few extra uh, breeding boards for our beavers and we want to bring the population up to I think closer to 200 and then we're also going to have to provide them with uh, some food then the next thing I think we can uh, let me just go on one time speed for a second I'll tidy up this area here as well and uh, clean up the roads a little bit then the second thing will be we'll have to improve the food situation I'm going to talk about the food I mean uh, potatoes mostly and so we'll do this um, rearrangement there and um, well i do want to use the platforms uh, there's two different types in here so we'll definitely use them in our build as well but the problem is they're very expensive the small one is 200 metal and the big one is 500 so we'll definitely have to get um, get some more metal done as well now also because the terrain is very uneven here we shall want to get more uh, explosives i think we should have enough metal right now I know there's a few blanks um, stored here, so how about we pause this building, hopefully empty it, and then we'll place another explosives factory there as well. So give me a second, I'll tidy up a couple of those uh, things that I just mentioned, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we've queued up a couple of things. The beers are gonna um, take down the berries. We'll... Oh, I just noticed. We would also actually like to extend the range of this um, uh, road here. Then... Um, what we will do here is to provide beavers an alternative way up because that's going to be the main way and i think we don't need this slope anymore oh wait we'll put this road back in there we go and up here we are going to try and gather as much metal as we can now we've got a trout for 26 days it seems so we'll have a couple more builders and then we'll have to figure out how we are going to build all this in here. Now, I know straight away that these buildings will not be very useful to us. And let's just check our water. Oh, this one is empty in here. So we'll we'll top it up real quick and then, um, then we'll take it from, from there. Okay, so the next thing, when we talked about potatoes, I think we are going to put the next grill. Uh, let's just grab one and this grill shall go there. I think between the two of them that should um, be able to sustain our potato needs for quite some time. And what's happening here? Waiting for nutrients. Okay, so they're just bringing in some water and some berries for the, for the new beaver uh, production. And now that we... Yeah, okay, so that's good. We, we can connect up this road. Same on this side. And... Um, I think now that we have this space here, well, actually we've had it for quite a while, but we'll just put a few more potatoes down in all those places. Nice. Okay, so back to back to here. Have we emptied? No. Okay, so we've taken out logs, but not the planks. 
Uh, okay, fine. You know what? It's okay. Uh, now, we are going to measure out how high do we want it. Okay, so this... I think this is about the height we want this whole whole area to be to be at. Now we'll also have to get rid of all these buildings here and then um, what we'll do we'll measure out the rough distance. I think I'll want the levee wall to be in line with this area here. So we move on straight okay so that's gonna be where the floodgates are so that's perfect then water wheels that wall is gonna go from there so this will most likely have to demolish or dynamite our way down now when it comes to water wheels i'm just gonna pause it for a second just to see how many water wheels can we squeeze in here and that's gonna be one more so that's one two three four five six seven eight in a row okay so that's uh that's not bad at all oh yep delete it i think we'll pause it for the time being and then because the power itself has to go one level up on the side here what we'll do is um is a uh, levee wall yes yeah, so just to make sure that the water is pushed through where the water wheel itself is okay so we can unpause it once again now when it comes to landscaping let's see dynamites we'll have to take a level down from here actually it would be best if we cover this whole area okay i'm gonna do a little bit of thinking and i'll put in the design how we want it or at least the first phase and then i'll be back again and here we go we've got a few more different uh, crops planted the roads are now nice and clean i'm also queuing up a few large row houses now this isn't going to be a permanent solution it's just a temporary to cope with the population increase which should explode very soon and then lastly uh, let's put a couple extra roads for the beavers there as well then we managed to empty the lumber mill so now i'm hoping that the beavers shall start constructing the explosive factory asap i'll also unpause the gear workshops because i'd like the power to flow through all this way here and down down here we've got a couple of levees in place and as soon as they're done with that we'll do few more levels i think we're gonna line it up with the with the front here for sure oh another night well that went really quickly uh anyways we'll keep it on three times speed because right now yeah we've got enough builders we should have a bit of a boost soon and what we'll do as well let's see we've got a, quite a lot of blanks now but i know we're gonna need a lot in here so in some ways i would like to have this built um <laughs> are the haulers gonna carry anything in here right now not just yet so yeah maybe we're gonna have to wait a little bit can we okay so they're starting to finally bring some stuff in oh we need gears and we need gears badly right maybe this one gets built first oh, we can unpause the two wheels over there and how much power oh that's because of this one here isn't it Wait, you should be passing power through. Oh, yep, because we don't have these gear workshops. Yeah, it doesn't reach them. Uh, that's a bit of a bit of a shame. Uh, can we have one of those built, please? Okay, so you can't do that one. Let's pause you. Maybe you can do these two. And we'll give them a higher priority as well. We are going to need some of those gears. Not too many, just a couple uh, until we get to making power shafts. Okay, um, let's just have a quick look. They have finished the stairs almost. The building's not quite yet, but that's okay. As soon as we get some more, more beavers as well, we'll make a couple more houses for the, for the builders. I don't think we have any more in reach now, do we? Actually, no, no un unemployed beavers. Well, that's fine. Uh, as soon as a few grow up, then. Um, yeah, we'll take it from there. Cool. What is the progress down here? Okay, so the levees are done. We'll put a few more in place. And the idea really is to bring everything, well, pretty much everything at the same level as um, as the bottom level here. And we'll let the beavers construct the, the front piece there as well. Okay, so we do have two of those gear workshops now. One of them is working. How many gears do we need? Okay, 11 more. Well, that should be achievable, hopefully. And how many explosives? We've got 91 right now. The question is, are we able to reach them? 
Oh, there's none in here. Okay, so that's good. That means we definitely can reach them. What I'll also have to uh, sort out is access in here. I think um, what we'll do is we'll build it as we as we need it. So the power power strip. Uh, wait, not this one. Is going to be in there. And for the rest the uh, rest of this, we are just gonna have platforms and roads over over them. I think we might be able to actually squeeze another... Wait, that was the original plan, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. We'll put the these links in there. I don't think we'll be going this way, but... You know what? It's okay. We'll place it down there anyways, and then uh, once that is done, we'll give them an alternative access across, across from here. Actually, now that I say it, why don't we... Do this straight away. We'll just have to take this road out from here. And yeah, this could work. I know some of you might be might be worried that once the drought finishes, then we're going to be in a bit of a pickle. And yes, you're correct. So that's why for the time being, I'm just going to put those dams in here. If it starts overflowing, then it's just going to keep filling the, the other area. And we got a few dynamites in place. So that is that is also looking good. Yeah, we definitely need to need to be able to come down all the way here so how about we build this temporary uh let's see do we have to come down here i think we do because in the middle we will most likely want to have a few more levees yeah that's about yeah that should be the right height so <laughs> we're gonna have to build bring the stairs down from here unfortunately that's uh, the long term, yes, it's going to interfere with the suspension bridge over here, but I think that's okay. Um, what is what is going on? Do they need some more roads? Is that what's happening? Well, if it is, then oh yeah, they can't go from there. That is that is okay. Now to measure this out, we are going to have another power or oh, water wheel there, so that's the width. Um, of the canal that we're gonna have that is gonna be the wall okay got it and then the water's gonna flow through okay let's uh let's carry on then yeah i think we are gonna need some stairs just a couple though it's not too many that should that should too hopefully and then what we'll do is we'll slowly take down this whole area here as well from the top oh actually if we take you out, I know that's a little, little painful, but we are going to need this area and this space here. And I think we can do the same there as well. Cool. So more dynamites are needed. Uh, we'll place them in here. I think the middle bit. Let's see. Yeah, all of this should come down. The middle bit, I'm not sure how low we want to go, but... Yeah, I guess that will do. We got 93 dynamites. Just seven more gears are needed. But that should be done rather quickly as well. Where are those beers going? Oh, they just sat up there. That's okay. And... Yeah, is this one up? I think it's one up. So most of it still needs to... Two levels. Ooh, four levels from there. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of dynamite. So I'm just gonna go... Keep going, dynamite our way down, and um, let's see how it goes. Alright, so we have been building for a little while now, and by building, I don't mean building stuff, we're been just putting down some dynamites but and uh, the destruction progress is going pretty well i think we can do an another level and a couple more dynamites here yeah nice and level just need a three more dynamites there and i think the same shall happen on this side but uh what what else did we do i am putting in a few more power wheels just for the time being because at some point we'll have to open the shredder as well and start making some more metal for the platforms right now we only have 33 and then if we use the big ones it's gonna be 500 if we use the small ones it's gonna be 200 so yeah definitely gonna need a few 
few of those bad boys running for us. Uh, well, I'd like to say 24-7, but uh, I don't want to kill our beaver. So um, beaver numbers are going uh, up slowly. So that's, uh, that is good. Very happy, very happy with that. And now I think for the rest of it, let's have a quick look. So we are going to want to have a, have it go down in a straight line like so. And same on this side. However, we'll do that side first. And we'll deprioritize all of them except you. Yeah, so that way we still have access. We'll blast our way through two more levels. That way we can do the same with the top one here as well. Cool. Also, whilst this has been running, I've started putting in a few deep water bumps here. And uh, that's because, well, now that our beaver numbers are going up, we are probably going to need some more water. So three extra ones, that should do for the time being. But um, yeah, we can put in, uh, what is it? One, two, three, four. Oh, perfect. We can put uh, a few more once we once we need them. Uh, I've just realized I should have done... Uh, now we're going to have to go down here. Uh, that's what happens when you're rushing things and not really thinking it through 100%. Wait, don't build these ones. Now we'll detonate these sides. Ah, uh, they still can't reach them, can they? No. Well, let's see. I'm sure it will work out somehow. What we'll do is, um, well, essentially, if we would have uh, detonated two lines together, then that means the furthest one we could not reach anymore. So we'll try and do that first. And actually, maybe we should give this a priority as well. Yeah, let's 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 do that. Okay, uh, that's good. I would like to. Do we want to do this one? I think we do. Yeah, we'll leave it. Um, and they'll do the bottom ones as quick as they can. And as expected, the dynamites are now... Well, they've they've ran out. Uh, we've got two of them building, uh, producing us dynamites. And although we'd like to have another one, I just don't think we can. How much power do you take? 150. So that's already 300. How much are we supplying though? Uh, 250 here. 500, 750, 800. Well, I guess we, I guess we could perhaps, but hmm, yeah, I think we're gonna need another one, potentially. And we'll just detonate these um, few pieces as well, and looks like we are at the level where we want this to be, which is great. And can we reach the last one? Yes, we can. And just one more here. Please have this done as a priority. And then we can start doing the the next line. Actually, I can unpause you already. So that's fine. Oh, we've lost some water. Uh, yikes. One second. We'll fill this up. Another 11 days. Oh. That's not a lot of days to prepare this setup here. And I think we would be able to complete it. But the bottleneck right now is the dynamite. So, okay. let's Let's change this. Uh, not many blanks in here, so that is that is good. We'll take you out, change the road. And I think this platform unfortunately has to go as well. Uh, sorry, you're going to go on the slightly lower one now because we desperately need another... Do we have the gears? Oh, we might not have enough gears. Let's see, how many do you need? You need 30. Okay. Uh, for the time being, let's have two of those gear sh workshops running. You should have a staff member now. Yes, you do. Okay, and maybe we'll prioritize you as well. So just to make sure that you're nicely stocked up all the way. And as soon as one of them... Oh, actually, let's do the same with um, two over there. Can we please have a dynamite here? Yes, and here it comes. Just one more needed. Now run, run for your life. And let's hope he's not gonna... Yeah, okay, he's alive. Great, one more please. And then we'll, we'll shall have another explosives factory. Okay, quick look. Ooh, uh, yeah, we should definitely need to look around every now and then. 
I think we've lost a few crops here, but that is okay. Our carrot situation is not too bad at all. We can do a few more potatoes here. With this pot, um, I think I might reserve it for, for some farm, more farms in this area. Uh, actually, we do have... What is it? You're storing carrots, potatoes. We could use one of them instead. But let's just see how it goes. Okay, another night. Uh, is that enough water? I don't think it is, but we'll top it up when it disappears, evaporates. That's the word I was looking for. And we've got the dynamite here now. And explosives factory just over there like so. Highest priority. Please get this built. And I think we've got a last missing piece in place there as well. Cool, and more dynamite shall be needed. Oh, that is just so satisfying. Okay, couple more. And I think we we can already put up a um, few of those water wheels here. But I think we'll... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just pause them for the time being until this whole area is leveled out. Now, when it comes to the middle bits, that's where I'm not too sure about do we... Do we want to leave them up and potentially block some more water? Or should we take this... Hmm... You know what, we can always put levees in here, so let's just level... Level this whole thing. And I think you shall be a slightly higher priority than the rest. And while well, you look at that, we've got three in place now. Supply is 800, demand is 890. But we can fix that by pausing one of the gear workshops there. And now we're produ uh, supplying more power than we need. So that's, that's great. We've got three factories running and that should definitely speed up our dynamite production here as well. Cool. Very, very happy with that progress. And we can explode a few more dynamites. Which means another water wheel. And things are looking, looking great. Okay, so this is a... Small little progress update here. What I'll do is I'll carry on with this and I'll try and squeeze a little bit more progress into this episode as well before we have to have to um, end it. So we've made quite a bit of progress here. We've leveled the whole area down to down to same height. And I, I do also know that we could have left the, the tiered uh, system in here. But I just wanted to make sure that the end product is going to be nice and lush. Uh, same height. And uh, it, it's just going to look uh, a little bit more pleasing. Uh, at least for me to, to look at it later. But yeah, we've got the walkways in for for now underneath if i bring this down a little bit and i hope you can see but um, we also have the the power wires running running along there and the middle ones are, are connected that way yeah what i've also also done is i've created a small little district here where we just have a whole lot of uh, scavenger flags and i think right now we have 30 30 beavers that we shuffle back and forth and that I are bringing in some um, scrap metal that we will want to turn into metal. Uh, we still have only, yeah, we only have three metal overall. So all that is going to be gone. And then, um, oh, you guys are finished, aren't you? And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's going to help us with our platform platforms idea. Now, what I need to do now, because this is phase one, the first section is is complete. But we are going to have to have this uh, sneak back. And I think it's going to go if we put the last water uh, wheel in place here. So maybe about here is when the water turns and then goes back straight back from here. And um, this is the area where I think we could maybe have even more water wheels run through there. So <laughs> I guess we'll do it four wide straight away. So something, uh, so if this is the middle bit, one, two, three, four. So that would, uh, levy wall would go from, from about there. And we'll need it maybe one higher, maybe not actually. Actually, yeah, we might not have to build any of this. I'll only do the top level. 
just so we know what the what the height is but it definitely has to go down to that level there and i know that's gonna ruin or interfere with some of our previous construction in in this location but that's okay we'll move them around or away as as we need and we'll try and restore as much as we as much as we can but yeah we've got a couple of dynamites in the bank already so i guess it is time to put them put them to use i'll try and be a little bit smarter uh, this time what i mean by that is we'll start leveling things down in a in a more systematic systematic way um but yeah let's uh let's let's do that then i think the lengthwise if it's gonna come all the way up here as well so that means we still have to dynamite the top of the hill uh, it's unfortunate but i think it's worth it uh, as long as we yeah so that's gonna go from there i think for good measurement what i'll do is i'll put the roads in place so we know where it's gonna be running from so now, for example, we know that all this top bit here. Uh, wait, let me just pause this. I just remember we have some beavers stuck in another district that probably want to want to go home and rest there as well. Okay, so yeah, that's what we are going to do. We've got a few dynamites in here. We'll run it on triple speed and I think I've just realized all this water is going to go through. And let me go highest view as well. So it's going to be a little bit easier for us. Now, I know those water wheels right now are submerged, which means they will not be working. But um, I think once we get the phase two, the snake ba uh, snake bit done, because it's going to snake through, through here and then back into this reservoir. Once we get this bit done, I think we will be able to get those water wheels working and use some of the power that comes through them as well. Um, I'm also fully aware that because it's such a large water source here, we may have to provide it a, um, like a backup or a different outflow. So in case um, this is going to be too much water that goes through here, there is most likely going to be a, something on the side there. And I guess we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm also a little bit worried that this might be, might be too low. But then we could always start leveling, I suppose, some, some areas in here. is an option. He's uh, on, on the guards right now. But hopefully we don't have to go that far. But I guess we'll, uh, we'll wait and see. Now, just one more dynamite. Is anyone bringing the last one? 75 dynamites right now. Oof. We got two paper mills running as well. Power-wise, actually, we're pretty good. And the last dynamite is in place, so here we go. Now we can remove the stairs and keep repeating the same step in here, in there. And I think now we should be able to have it at the same level. And you know what? We can take these ones out. And I'm thinking to put some levees in here just to hold a little bit of extra water when the when the wet season finishes. And I think in the future, this double flat gate is not going to stay here. Yeah, we'll definitely change that as well. But for the time being, yeah, so the beavers are, are going to carry on with, uh, with all this. I don't think I did anything else off camera whilst this was happening. Uh, how much scrap do we have? We've got 250 almost. So yeah, that's uh, as long as I remember to move them back and forth. We should have a nice, uh, nice steady supply of scrap metal as well. What is happening here? Can we please fill this up so our crops will not die? I think it's just still slowly filling up the other areas. Yeah, it's almost, almost full, but uh, let's bring it back. Okay, so now it's coming through. Here we go. Right, how many dynamites do we... Oh, this reminds me. Yeah, we got 55. Let's send 30 over. And I've already paused a few of those breeding pods as well. And uh, might have to do the same. Yeah, we're 194 beavers. That is just way more. Uh, yeah, well, I did say that we want to have about 200. But maybe we just rushed it into a little bit too quickly, perhaps. And you know what? Maybe we prioritize these buildings 
for the haulers as well. Now dynamite seems to be in place so that is good. And uh, not to bore you with all that, what I'll do is I'll keep repeating um, this until it's nice and level where we want it. And then in the next episode we'll complete, complete the rest of it as well. So thank you very much for watching so far and I hope to see you again in the next one.